here since the beginning. Love you. I need to change the IBP badge, by the way. It looks horrible. It looks horrible. I will change it though. Okay, we'll get um, Beerus's fleet. So, Yo. this is the, sort of the initial context. Um, this guy, there, there was something, something, some, he was accused of, I think, buying an item that came from a scam or, a scam or something like that. But that, that's, that's just a sideshow. It led to uh, ETH. Or Beer, is it ETH or Beerus? How, what's the proper way of saying his name? Honor? ETH? What the fuck? It, I mean, his name is uh, M1 slash Beerus. One of the two. Okay, there's Beerus. I could call him Beerus. By the way, you can see the time on my end. Why do I have a muted? 5.13 a.m. <laughs> um, so he came out and accused um, this guy, um, George, of... So, so essentially, somebody accidentally sent him an empty me. trade offer. Um, Thank you so much. Um, Gurge Thank is alleged you so, to so have much. accepted it. And I hope the oil is doing well. Unfriended and blocked the guy. Or, or something along those lines, and um, he's taking quite a bit of heat in the community for what's viewed as, I think, fairly cold and indifferent behaviour. Might might be a, a a way of putting it. Um, oh, hold on, we'll go forward. So as you can see, this is this is from the original chat chat log. The guy who he's alleged to have taken these items off is called Westpool. So Gurge's response was, or Jerry, okay, Jerry, Jerry's response was. You just gifted me your items, and the guy said, "Mate, what the fuck? No, please don't scam me, mate. I know you're a well-known trader, so please." Um, oh, let's see. There was one more. Um, there are also what were the other set? So there are also these DMs that came out. Apparently, the guy said to him, it was apparently three hundred dollars of skins." According to this, the guy said, "It gains you nothing to keep three hundred. You have a ten k inventory." Gary responds. Yes, it does. I've already gained three hundred. More like nothing to lose. I believe there are more. There were more stuff. Stuff. So <laughs> it's kind of so. Up. Basically, the guy accidentally sends him an empty trade offer. He accepts it, um, and blocks the guy. That that's that's the accusation. But we'll we'll have him on. We'll hear what he has to say, and we'll see how it goes. But it, I I would consider them pretty serious accusations if you're a trader in the community you don't want to want to be accused of stuff like this so i think he's waiting for us at the moment is he is he on we're gonna have him on more or less now uh yeah i think they're ready he will also be having okay. his okay. face cam on i think jesus like what the fuck i'm scared of using my face cam i feel weird when i use it he just pops onto a random stream with face cam that's ballsy let me see um i will check with him Mm, in the group i just call the group right jesus um yeah call the group call the group uh should we from the beginning have westpool in it or uh first? let's see what this is what gary has to say first okay and then and then we will have west we will add him to the call like a little bit i feel like it might get yeah adversarial at that point and a, a, we probably should let him at least speak first just so people know what he has to say okay okay in case it gets Toby was here. thank you very very much i see you man i see you everywhere on okay, instagram everywhere. thank you very much bro. uh okay let's go i'm calling the group i'm so nervous i'm so nervous Jesus. i'm so nervous uh, oh. oh i think i just caught honor saying nervous <laughs> <laughs> wait i'm still showing your stream Hey, good. Jerry, Gary, Jerry, yep. Gary. Well, how Gary? Okay, perfect. Nice. Okay, it all worked out perfectly. Jesus. Um, yep. Yep. Maybe you wanna. Uh, I don't know. Say. <laughs> I don't know how to introduce this. We haven't. By the way, we haven't like before this. We haven't talked. We just texted. So it's kind of weird right now, but. Uh, okay. So okay. Do you want me to start things off in that case? Okay. So um. You got this. Gary, essentially, there's been some some accusations made on on Twitter. You know, last night I was watching as I was going to bed at you know midnight for my three hour sleep before the stream, and the we the allegation this. is somebody accidentally sent you an empty trade offer. You accepted the trade offer and blocked the guy, um, and that led to some some drama on Twitter. I, I guess we can say. I guess we could say, but it seems like you do agree that the on the basic facts of the story, the guy sent you an empty trade offer, you accepted it, then unfriended him. Yeah, uh, I'm blocked just to be specific. Yeah. 
Okay, so do you want to... Wait, wanna... by the way, by the way, by, before we like get into it, do you want to put your face command as you, or, or uh, rather not? I understand. Uh, I can, let me see. Oh, shit. You are prepared. <laughs> okay, there okay. we go. Boop, boop. Okay. Um, nice. I, I don't feel the need to show the face cam. I'll just let him. But he does He does have face cam on, I, I will say. Um, I do, but are we li being live streamed right now? Or oh, fuck. The... Uh, yeah. yeah. We're, we're live streamed. <laughs> Um, I won't. I won't actually show you on live stream unless you um say to. I I, I wouldn't. I'm I'm fine with it. Okay, I just okay. showed you. Okay. <laughs> Imagine you would have said here. no. Now. He's okay. here on live stream with us guys. Um, I don't know. I won't bother showing it. But he is. He's using face cam. He's using face cam. So, um, so do you want to explain the story from your perspective? Because uh, I think it's clear people aren't particularly happy of you on Twitter. Yeah. That I've been What's actually surprised. I thought uh, some people would agree, but I know it's uh, hard to, you know, speak up when Zippel or someone with a high follower count just uh, makes it clear what their position is. It's hard to speak up then. Uh, I've been re I received messages in private, you know, and I know that uh, other traders do at least used to, but I think many still do this, like except of first when there is no communication and it's just a gift. Like, you know, I'm the developer of the CSGO Trader extension and the accepting of uh, gift offers was actually a very requested feature as well. So, yeah, so I used to do this. I, I did accept, you know, offers when there was just empty, no message, nothing. And funny enough, it uh, there were times when there was just nothing. They did not ask, they did not add me, they did not want it back. So I might just assume that it's a gift normally mm -hmm. may i ask when when this even happened i don't even know like was this a year ago was this like i think it was uh, last february so very over a year ago mm. this um and i don't know what the guy is called I... yeah uh, his name i think his name is west so uh, because like, we yeah. it's fine if we also add him to the call right i asked him before uh because he also he was like yeah, yeah i can also hop into the call Say like I nice gave side. him uh, more items since then, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we can get into that later. Um, also, so you said, also you, so you changed that, right? You changed your... your, your yeah, I think last couple of months, I I remember a specific instance when the guy sent me his cuttles, he wanted price checked. It was clear that he's, he, that was the intent. I gave it them back. I think there were more cases when when the sender is on my friend list uh, or we chatted before, then it's clear that he wants to trade. Then I always give it back. Um, what I can say is, you know, I've been trading for years and years, basically from the beginning. And uh, I used to get a lot more of these because I don't know if you even remember, but uh, the mobile confirmation was, you know, a few years later to trade, uh, a few years later to trading. So it was much easier to send offers accidentally. Mm -hmm. You know, if you didn't pay attention because you didn't have to confirm it on your phone. So I used to receive more of these, but now it's only like every one or two months, just one, one of these. Well, what do you do now? I mean, just uh, the empty offers. Yeah. W what do you do with okay, them now? So, so you changed, you changed your like way of, I don't know. Yeah. You know, I started to have like more of a. Twitter presence and, you know, join that community a bit. Cause before, you know, I'm an old school trader. Um, I basically socialize with other guys who do the same thing. And, you know, we were always pretty happy when we got gift offers. So it's, it felt very normal to accept them. You know, we were kind of even bragging about them sometimes, but I mean, Labeling as a guy, gift this, offer yeah. uh, when the guy afterwards says, "Oh, that I don't know." When afterwards, it's it's clear that he didn't mean to send it like as a gift, but as a trade. Yeah, uh, well, you know, we thought it as the you know very wide west kind of thing. You, everyone is on their own. If you do something, you own up to it. If you send something shitty, then you lost your item. You know, I saw the Karambits for two euros accidentally and traded items for free and I've never really got my stuff back, but I did not make a big deal out of it because I took some items too. And 
you know, it was just as it, that was what the rules for me, you know, I fucked up. Yeah. I lost my items. They fucked up. They lost their items. So that was kind of my attitudes. But, you know, I started a bit changing it when, when I joined Twitter and all, and I saw that most people are more, you know, sensitive and whatever on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even aware that there was a, you know, so such big, uh, Twitter trading activity, you know, uh, community. I think I mostly checked it out when you hit me up somewhere. Okay, oh, this, yeah, is, yeah. this is my sort of concern because it, it seems to me, I mean, you're developing an app, it, it seems like having a positive, you know, reputation in the community is probably quite important to someone in your, in your position. And so can you see why it, it's a bit of a problem? Like this, this guy said it was a mistake. Like, can you see why for someone in your position, it's a bit of a problem if you, you seem to be doing stuff like this because... I understand you know, how yeah. this might be, um, you know, a moral dilemma for someone. And I understand if most people would give it back. I really doubt, you know, everyone is very, very honest and very friendly on Twitter. But in real reality, it's, it's, <laughs> you know, if you are given, you know, find cash on the floor, you probably just take it and not really look for a, who lost it. Like most people would probably just take it and that's it. I mean, yeah, some people on Twitter wasn't... just do it for the, like, I don't know, to have a good, good reputation and, and like, I don't know. Yeah, they, they I wouldn't be Twitter. They wouldn't do it. I, actually, I know what you mean, but. Pride myself. In yeah, but my... this, this wasn't, this wasn't cash on the floor. Someone sent you an offer yeah. and immediately messaged you afterwards saying, shit, it was a mistake. Like, as, as a, as a trader of someone who, you know, there's a, there's a big element of trust in, because, you know, if you're doing the cash trades, there's going to be a big element of trust. You know, people trust you enough to put your browser extension you, you make a browser extension don't you is, yeah, is that correct people trust you enough to put your their browser extension your browser extension in their browser so you can see why there's a there's a trust element you know it might be a little bit inconvenient or annoying having to give this guy back his skin so if, if it's a mistake and you want to have this reputation as being someone who's trustworthy and decent and worth dealing with even if it is a bit inconvenient, even if maybe other people might act differently. Can you see why? I, I think it is quite important that you show this is sense of decency, even if it might not necessarily work in your favor all the time. Like just, just because other people might accept it doesn't mean it's a good thing for you to do in that environment, particularly in the, the Twitter environment where there is accountability and people are going to, to call you out for stuff like that. Sniper Sparks, thank you. Yeah, I totally get where people are coming from, and as I said, it changed. I still know plenty of traders who still do this. Um, reputation became more important to me, but I still pride myself in my reputation. I never scammed anyone intentionally. I never misled anyone. I don't ever lie. I, I'm an honest guy. I just. You know, I received the gift. I accepted. Those were my rules. I but take what, take what but I get. It's, it's not a gift. It's the, if the guy yeah. says afterwards, "Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to send it." Don't label it. As, I mean, I wouldn't label it as a gift. Like, it's not right. I mean, it's just an accident. If I accidentally, that case, that's what it give, is. Yeah. like, send Jesus fifty dollars per payphone, and he says, "Like, oh, thank you for the gift." I'm like, "Oh, fuck! I fucked up." <laughs> like, I would yeah. be mad at him. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't keep it, and like, I wouldn't. You know. Yeah, you know, these messages that have come out, they're not, they're not, they're not good. There's this message of you saying, you know, the guy says it gains you nothing. You kept three hundred dollars. You have a ten k of entry. Your response is, yes, it does. I've already gained three hundred. More like nothing to lose. And also, um, didn't you like? I don't know. Didn't you like delete and block him afterwards? After he said like, oh, sorry, I, I meant, I didn't mean to. No, I think the time I, the guy sent an offer, I accepted it, or it was auto accepted. I don't know. And uh, I think he sent a request, friend request after I accepted him. He told me that it was an accident. I told him, okay, I, I don't give back items. And I think he kept spamming me. So I removed him. I think that was it. What the heck? Okay. You didn't even have him added when he sent the offer. I thought, okay. No, if, if someone is added and we are you know, already talking about trades and it's, it, then it's still completely different. If someone mm. sends me a 
And often when they are already talking, it's it's completely different. Then from... it makes a little bit more sense for me why you call it a gift. Like when you didn't have him added, he sends an empty trade offer, doesn't even say anything in the title. Okay. Yeah, but... it's just an empty offer. I, I get the well, hundreds doesn't... of offers but, a day. I... But doesn't it strike you as weird? Three hundred dollars and an empty empty offer of no message. That's a bit like you know. I'm I'm a big big YouTuber. Even I, I I don't get offers like that. And if I did, I, I don't think I'd accept it unless... Yeah, it does like, happen. Maybe you don't look as message. good as some Jesus. Calm, calm down. What the fuck? I mean, gifts like this do happen, but... I, like, if the guy then adds that, you and says, like, oh, very fuck uh, But yes, but it can happen, like... I mean... Can it happen. It doesn't be... But, I mean, even then, I, I if I got an offer like that, I wouldn't accept it if someone just, if just randomly got off for $300 of skins. I'd explicitly check mm. with the person who sent it before I accepted anything. Um, and I, I probably feel uncomfortable accepting that much of a gift of somebody given, you know, it's not like I'm exactly living in poverty. Um, look, I, I would put, th this is what I, I'd sort of say to your position here, Jerry, because like, sure, you've got, you know, this policy of accepting, accepting gifts like that and no refunds. And you might, you, you, you wouldn't be considered to be a scammer by Steam standards, but that isn't considered to be a, a decent way to act by the standards of certainly the Twitter community. So if you want to be part of the Twitter community and you want to have a decent reputation as someone worth dealing with, <laughs> I don't think this sort of behavior is acceptable. Um, I mean, it sounds like you've given the items back, but Sounds like you have the Twitter either, community yeah, bouncer get, right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> well, the community sets these you. standards. I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to explain where I think, I'm just trying to explain the position I think you've put yourself in because uh, so there's, a, there's a concept when, when you study study law called um, customary law. And it's essentially the, the set of standards a community sets for itself. And certainly by the, the customs of the Twitter scene, this sort of stuff is not considered to be particularly acceptable. So uh, I'm just saying to you, if if you want to have, you know, any any sort of standing in certainly the Twitter community, which it sounds like you probably do, I, do, I, yeah. I don't think that I don't think that's ever going to be viewed as a acceptable way to behave. Um, and you don't necessarily have to agree with that, but I think if you want to have a decent reputation and be respected in that in that area. I mean, it's, it's good to give the items back, but I, I don't think it's viable to, to sort of stand, stand stand by what you did and say, I didn't do anything wrong. I, I think if you want to be in that space, there's got to be higher standards. Uh, just because traders who don't have that public profile act like that doesn't mean it's okay. Yeah, I, I get it. And I don't know, I joined, you know, the... Twitter trading community in I think last summer or so and I, that's when I started changing when I do some stuff but I always prided myself in my reputation but I had my set rules and that's how I dealt with everything so I'm sorry I took it I gave gave them back but and I don't, I don't do this anymore I don't know what else to say to be honest <clears throat> um should well, we should maybe add west of the... sorry yeah yeah, I think, Gary, yeah, you, cool. you you said your side. We asked some questions. Uh, I think we will add West to the call now. Maybe Chad has then some questions. Um, Who was the last guy? I don't know who that is. Uh, uh, West, the guy that, that gave you the, West. the, the okay. gift. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, boop, 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 boop. I don't even know how he is feeling right now, if he's still angry or if he ever was angry. Uh, I haven't talked to him before. So... Oh. I'm pretty sure he was pissed. I'm always pissed when I fuck up. <laughs> Let's see. Wes? Okay, wait, let me mute the stream real quick. Yeah. Hey, can you hear me? Hey, yeah. We can yep, hear we can you. Hear. Okay, we perfect. Can hear uh, so should I just start talking or? <laughs> we... like... I mean, I, I don't know. We've never done this what, before. What's, what's, what's your perspective on this? So, well, so how did, how did this offer end up being sent, West? So uh, I have everything screenshotted. I posted some of them in in the in that other group. So first of all, he had me at it before, and we we ch chatted before. Uh, I sent that into the other group, like ask, really? uh, is it up for trades? Yes, we'll worry in our field test. I said field test it. What's your offer? Then I sent him an offer. Uh, I think he declined it, and then I 
um, was interested in a different item and ask, hey, I'm interested in buying an autotronic bell skirt, send him that offer, but that was the one without the item in it. And then he just said, you, ju you just gifted me your items. It's all screen uh, screenshot. I can maybe post that somewhere. I don't okay. know. Oh, just send them to me? Yeah. Screenshots? Uh, I sent it into the other group, the one with oh, yeah. you and Jesus. Uh, maybe you also hey, put it in this group, so I don't know. Us, uh, yeah, sure. We, yeah, just, second, let me I'm copy that. To, I'm going to bring it up on, on screen so people can see it. Me too, me too. Um, copy image. Bring up the image um, separately. Oh, paint on there. So we definitely that. talked before, so like, I don't know. Like, it was pretty clear that it was a trade, not a gift, in my opinion. Okay, so so the, this, the log, which um, says it's with a guy called um, uh, Gary, says, is it up for trade? Yes, we'll want a field tested, field tested one. What do you offer? Invited you to play a game. I assume that was a misclick. Hey, I'm interested yeah. in your bayonet or Frank battle scarred. Uh, just give to me, just give me your items, mate, shit, no. Okay, that looks like the rest like the is same. like the, yeah, the rest is on Twitter. Yeah, um, Gary, do you dispute the authenticity of these, or is this, is this actually a no, chat log? No, I believe him, I believe him, yeah. Okay, well, you can that... also check, like, the chat log on uh, Steam well, so you could check it yourself as well. Well, it's good to know, yeah, thanks. Okay, that, that does contradict some of the things you said earlier. Gary, that um, again, yeah, it, well, my policies were in. evolving over time. I don't know, this is reads and it is cruel, yeah, to accept this and not give it back. I, I, mm. I accept that, okay. okay, okay. Well, in yeah, I, I sort of stand by what I, what I said earlier. Um, I don't think you know, I, I don't think that sort of thing, that sort of behavior can be defended if you want to be part. Of the Twitter community with that that's okay i think well i think at least I mean, we that's kind of harsh think... yeah i don't know i mean i don't think, no, I think we are not right, like actually... we are not like the guardians of the twitter community <laughs> i'm i'm not i mean, like guardian, I'm, I mean since, i'm just stating i'm not i'm not i'm just i'm just stating it as as i as i see it and yeah okay well it sounds like it sounds like everyone agrees on the facts of what happened which is, which is kind of good. Um, so let me be clear. I'm not. I'm not the. Thank I'm not the much. police here. Um, I'm not the enforcer. But yeah, Gary. I, I think you sort of need. I, I think if you want to have good standing in this community, I think you probably do I need to walk back that position on no refunds and stuff like that because it's a very very bad look. And, you know, I, I, at the end of the day, I, I sort of think other people have, you know, they, they get to control their own behavior and, you know, how they, how they act is, is up to them in some respects, unless you do outrageous shit and in which case I make videos on you. Um, this, oh, this whoa. goes, this goes, this goes, this is, this is nowhere near that outrageous, but yeah, I, I, I hope, I, but as, as a bit of, um, I guess advice. I I don't think your position is really cannibal if you want to have a reputation of any of any worth in the I, community. Uh, I mean, hmm. no, I understand where that where it's coming from. I I will not do this today. I will not do this today. That I can say. Um, but not just because of this, right? What if I would have no, sent you no, no, one no, week no. ago an empty trade off? I didn't have you added, added you back. Hey, uh, what's up? Where's my, like, are you not going to send me any money or something? And then you say, what, 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 what would you, what would you have done? Like, I don't know, a week ago before everything came out. Honest answer. Well, a lot has changed. Uh, in last February, I was, you know, I had a full-time job. Trading was just a side hustle and I'm a full-time trader. So mm. reputation is much more important so it, so the i think i became more uh, accountable as i joined twitter etc mm. but by now it's you know i'm doing well i would not want to ruin this thing so the, the thing is like i mean you are not breaking any rules or anything that is clear but i don't know i think most people are just a little bit disappointed by something like this you know at least 
I am, you know, I don't know. I, well, I, I read those comments all day, so you don't have to explain. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't like the people like witch chanting or something. I've never liked that. And I don't think Jesus, uh, I don't know, encourages that behavior uh either but well it depends depends what you define as a witch hunting as well like um, uh some comments if someone's, really, if someone's know, done something fucked up well that, that's mean, just the internet i mean i i get people saying fucked up things about me just because they don't just because of, because you know they don't like a word i suck on the title of a video it, it's it's the internet the internet's like that it's internet does not uh twitter especially does not, does not understand nuances and you know, they... well, look, I'll say, look, I mean, I'll say my, my final words on this. I, I think if you want to be a full time trader and you want to be part of the Twitter community, I think I think you need to walk back. I think some of the things you tweeted out about this situation on Twitter, and I, I think make a statement. You know, completely. You know, walk, walking back your position on refunds and stuff in the past, because I think to be part of the Twitter community to be a full-time trader with that kind of reputation, I think you need to make it very clear you don't stand by the way you acted in the past and you don't view it as acceptable. Because I, I think in the Twitter community, having that sort of thing in your reputation and sort of tacitly standing by how you acted to some extent is probably untenable. Mm. It's that annoying be... because you are such a great guy. Like, you, you do a lot for the community. Your plugin is fucking nuts. Everyone uses it. But then something like this is just... A little bit disappointing at least i don't know for me like hmm. but you say like now you you would behave differently uh, even before this came out we don't know if it's true but i will take your word on that you you even did repay him we didn't even say it yet on stream um i think we did you... didn't we huh no i'm sure i'm sure we, I'm that sure was we a short mention yeah okay, yeah okay. i'm sure we mentioned I mean, I didn't show he the did. screenshot but but he repaid it after public community pressure it's it, that that is that is true but detail. i mean yeah no what no one no one is perfect i did the, kind of the same with the paracord it's i don't know i mean yeah maybe he only did it because of this yeah but at least he did it but like, no he did not this, maybe, the situation wouldn't be different right now if he did repay or not at least in my view i don't know oh i mean no there is there i mean he's, it, it is it is less bad now that he repaid like if he was refusing to even give back the items at this point but is it though because at this point be... it just looks like it, it was because of the because now it's like a big thing or something it's still it's still slightly less bad um i mean yeah okay uh by the way with westpool you didn't i don't know you didn't really get to say like your side apart from what was history well, how, how do you feel about it now like do you i don't know well you... now i don't really care like i only saw that post about him uh the buying items from scammers so i'm not really sure what that was about if that's true or not but i just saw that and i remembered oh back then something similar happened or like something in that scene so i just wanted to make that public to let everybody know like my goal wasn't to get the items back i already forgot about that i was quite mad and angry back then but mm. like i i just moved on with life learned my lesson and yeah hmm does chat have any questions i've seen a lot of questions but i didn't note them down or something Okay, Maybe Jesus, if you see something interesting. By the way, you yeah. you have the CS:GO rap sites, right? The new one. Uh, the what? Um, the CS:GO dash rap dot com site, right? Uh, Blizzard site, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I just added it like two weeks ago to the extension. Like you can access the profile of anyone from their Steam profile with the extension. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Doesn't doesn't fundamentally change what happened though. No, just the comment. No, no, no. How no. does it feel okay. after snaking? Okay. I ju I'm just saying okay. that I'm really against scamming and really scammers in the community. I, who I view them, who I view as a scammers, I'm really not tolerating anything. And that was well, look, the. Look, I'll, I'll be clear about what I think. I don't think what you did is scamming. Scamming is where you deliberately mislead somebody to steal their items. I, but I do think it's a massive dick move. That's yeah. That, I agree. That's my. That's that's how I view it. By the way, um, Grizzly CS does have a question for you. Um, does does Gary deny that he still buys scam scammed items? Now I'll, I'll be clear. I I don't know whether Gary's ever bought scammed items. I have no proof either way about 
anything like that. There was that suggestion on Twitter, I think, that initially it started this off. I, I have no idea what the underlying truth is. I'm not making any accusations. But yeah, Grizzly, Grizzly CS's question is, does Gary deny he's, that he still buys scammed items? Uh, Gary, what do you have to say about that? Well, I never know, knowingly bought scammed items. I, By the way, there was one accusation. It was deleted. There was not even proof about that one instance. And I don't know. No, there were no other accusations. It was removed, so I, I dismissed it. I, I even removed the guy, but I'm still not sure if he was a scammer or not. I bought items from him. I looked into more of his profile. It was it was kind of suspicious, you know, where he had a high uh, Twitch follower account, but no videos or streams. So that was kind of suspicious. That's why I removed him because there were some red flags on his profile. But I never knowingly bought Steam uh, scammed items, and I would never do that. Okay. Mm. Well, as I said, I, I don't have, I don't have um, any proof. I guess that's a statement. I, I will say. High Twitch follower account if they're not a big streamer. Big giveaway. Um, general advice to to anybody in the future: if you see someone with a high Twitch follower account who doesn't appear to stream, do not deal with them. They're probably trying to scam you or trying to sell off scammed items. So that's just a general life hack when it comes to trading. So I'll, I'll just put that out there. Um, the thing is, I, I do not have to be that careful at least i didn't think i had to uh, when checking out profiles because you know i'm actually a reputable guy even though it does not uh, look like today but uh, basically everyone is willing to send money or items first to me because i always deliver or pay if we had an agreement so okay so that's why i did not check out the guy because uh, i bought i think i bought uh, items from him in the past and it all went fine he was paying first so i did not see much uh, reason to check out his legitimacy because mm. yeah the whole scammed okay. item thing uh... okay do you, do you think looking back he was probably a scammer i'm still not sure that you know that uh, high follower account uh, twitch is a really really big red flag but some people just want to be reputable because they they start from uh, zero and they want the reputation for cash trading so you know you can buy i guess followers for a couple of bucks but does not necessarily mean that you are a scammer you might but just want to be want to look reputable so that was my thing i still removed well, the guy and i won't be dealing him anymore for sure hmm. okay well as i said i don't have any proof one way or another here but okay well, i guess i guess that's that's um gary's statement um so uh, west do you have anything else you want to add at this point um not really like i was over it like basically a year ago so i don't know i, I really didn't care that much i just wanted nobody else to experience the same <laughs> now thing now you got some so skins out of this <laughs> well, well yeah yeah that was back, that was quite nice but that that was not my intention like i didn't do it because i wanted my skins back like hmm. i didn't expect that honestly and that was only because, like, Zipline people were posting about it. Otherwise, I don't think it would have been that big in the end. Okay. Okay. Well, Honor, anything else you want to add? I don't know. I'm checking chat. There are a lot of questions that I, I don't know, that I formulate a little bit weirdly, but I guess not. I mean, maybe, uh, maybe Blizzard can quickly hop in and give like his view because he's basically he is like the bounce of the twitter community of the he has been always completely objective like i don't know he's the only guy i for example trusted with the, like I yeah know. i know him he always seemed like a really good guy is it okay if i add him to the call okay sure well, i don't well, talk to him but i mean only can wrap this up yeah jesus you have to work soon okay. so <laughs> we still have yeah. to open some Whoa. cases we we got to open the cases, and we got one more one more thing to do after the cases too. Don't forget true, that, Honor. True, true. So, um, we'd better yeah, bring in Blizzard. You're muted. And Blizzard. Hi. No, wait. I have your. Never mind. Never. <laughs> I still have you muted from our fucking Welcome cooking stream. See. How's it going? Okay. You look different now. You're not delivering McDonald's with a mask. Uh, ah, sorry, Domino's with uh, a mask on. Yeah. That was like a last <laughs> so we've got Blizzard here, guys. 
just been in, uh, busy with college, so finally have a break. Um, I mean, overall, yeah, like I think Jesus hit everything on the mark uh, that like really needed to be said, and like I think at the end of the day, like I think I, like we all realize it was a big mistake made, um, but we can only hope hope that we can like move on from this and uh, and that Jerry like learned his lesson. Like at the end of the day, like I like. It's not scamming per se or sharking at all. It doesn't fall under that. Uh, there was no like formal trade agreement or anything. Um, and yeah, there are a lot of people in the community um, who will just get an empty trade offer, accept it, and then just block the user. Um, but at the end of the day, um, I think it's one of those things where in the in the Twitter tr trading community we like hold these ourselves to like a higher standard. Um, I th I think that's because we're a little bit more of a tight knit community. Um, and there's a lot of people who want to try to keep it clean. Um, so I, I think it's it's one of those things where it's like a learning experience. And uh, like at the end of the day, we all make mistakes. And uh, even though like a lot of people will like see this as like damage control per se, like at the, at the end of the day, he he learned his lesson and he also fixed the mistake, uh, regardless of whether it was damage control or not. So that's my two cents really so i think that's a good wrap up yeah so i returned the items and i retweeted best but i knew that people will uh, there's this no good action on this just i will be called whatever i will be called anyway whatever i do here so it, it's definitely a shitty situation i i think like i haven't seen all the comments out there yet but like if anyone's like death threats are uncalled for like in any situation in my opinion uh that being said like i still think like some people like they might be a little bit overboard with it but like at the end of the day like it's it's everyone's trying to keep the community clean and also hold each other to like a higher standard uh that's been my biggest goal in the community is just kind of like cleaning it up so um i i think it's one of those things where we try to like i guess ha like we don't want anyone to basically be taken advantage of and everyone to have like a good experience uh especially in the twitter trading community where it's like um there's still like a good amount of scammers that that float around all the time. So it's one of those things where we're trying to keep everyone uh, to have a good time and uh, no one gets screwed over. So, but yeah. Okay. And I, I would add to that. Um, I, I would recommend walking it back a bit more forcefully on Twitter, Gary, as well. That, I guess that's my, I, I, I just mean that as, as advice to, <laughs> I, I guess, help you in, in the, uh, particularly you know going forward I, I would recommend maybe taking a more forceful stance against what you did in the past uh, after this on twitter that's my advice to you I, I guess at this point well yeah i maybe might have phrased something not too well but i just wanted to make it clear that i own up to it i did this for years i accepted gift offers and it was i felt you know pretty normal because other traders who I knew did this still probably do this. That's how we did it. I don't know. I know mm -hmm. it, it's bad, but I mean, no. But the issue isn't the gift offer. It's just this specific one where the guy, the guy, um, it, it said it, you know, made it quite clear to you that it wasn't a gift. I, I think that's more the issue. I, I don't, oh, I don't mind for the prime. accepting gift offers, but if the guy says afterwards. That yeah, well, sorry, we just call them gift offers if, if it's empty on the other side. That's just, <laughs> Who is uh, we, if I can okay. ask? Well, I don't want to, you okay, know, name yeah, names, yeah, okay, okay. other traders I know. Okay, okay. I mean, there's a lot of fucked up shit Twitter going on anyway, so I don't this, is, this wasn't yeah. morally correct, but you, 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 you understand it. For, uh, at the end of the day, like, I saw some people comparing this to Grizzly's case, for example it is different this is not scamming also gary has a reputation he did fucking a great plugin i don't know if this was just for commercial like i don't know for for monetary value to get something out of it but it it, it no. is fucking, like he, you did stuff for the community great stuff um you see what you did wrong which was fucking fucked up um you repaid the guy um you know that you won't do it in the future but i agree with jesus you should have like a more now like active I don't know position on how that this was wrong and yeah i don't know what else I, we have I, to add. I agree i agree with you Oni. honestly like 
that's one of the other things too for like a lot of the bigger people in the community uh who have like i guess like are more well known or have done something big for the community whether it's like a plugin or um they just have a huge following or not whatnot they're held to a higher standard than everyone else is and we all hold each other to like equal standards um but they're going to be under like more scrutiny per se um because they're the ones representing that our community basically yeah and so everyone ex expects um basically all of them to be on on their best behavior uh because at the end of the day they're the ones re representing us and so like they can give give a bad rap, rap to our, our community if if something bad does happen um and, and going back to the the, the whole thing on, on the uh, trade offer i think like a lot of people were like infuriated um because it was one of those things where the guy clarified uh that it was an accident uh and obviously seemed seemed upset about it uh and then you just proceeded to unadd him after so I, th I, th I think it's one of those things where it's like at the end of the day it's a learning experience um i think if you like like you already have acknowledged that you messed up and that you've learned from your mistakes i think like everyone can move on from there um it, so long as like we acknowledge it was a huge mess up but you're gonna learn from it and we can move on yeah okay i like that anything else to add warp uh west west no I, i'm i'm pretty much fine with what we came up with okay jesus then maybe let's wrap this up and uh jump into yeah, the cases yeah i think we can wrap this up get wrecked by gaben yeah okay time for us to get scammed <laughs> Uh, yeah, thank you everyone for joining. Ga By the way, also, how do you how do I pronounce your name? Gagely. Gagay. Is that for? I can't say that on Twitch. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, on top of that, like I have to mention, big balls on your side for for doing like coming up with your fucking face cam when you get accused and like receive death threats on Twitter, like. I don't know. I, I haven't seen a single person defending you. I saw one person. I saw one person. That is somewhat ballsy. I, I have to give it to you. Not like justifying what you did was correct, but um, that does like deserve some form of respect. Just wanted Thanks. to add that as well. Okay. Sorry, can, I, can, I, can I add one more quick thing? Uh, Gary, you mentioned you got a lot of... Um gift offers in the past but what do you mean by that where were the, the gift offers coming from so some someone's pointed that out to me and they wanted me to ask one was i'm sorry well, i know we just kind of close things off but yeah well i was you know i've been trading for like seven years uh how i where i advertised was basically changing all the time like it used to be csgo lounge is the most prominent one so you you know I get I receive hundreds of offers and some of them bound to be empty occasionally you know it's only every like one or two months now that one comes up but before the mobile confirmation it was like maybe even daily occurrence or like two three times a week even so it was it's much much more frequent then and a lot of the times they they were not even inquiring about getting their items back so I. I mean, maybe uh, because you deleted well, them, block them, but uh, not block, but deleted. I mean, yeah, I don't know, Jesus. So, so these were, they, these were what for for the most part lounge offers where people um sent you an empty trade and you just you just accepted them. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, I mean, usually, I guess... it's not like two knives, like in this case, it, it was usually just um, some much smaller stuff, but yeah, I did. Okay, well, I guess, I guess on that point, I, I think it does come back to what I said earlier to, to beat that dead horse. That, that probably is pretty, that, that no, that, that definitely is pretty standard stuff on Cisco Lounge. Um, Lounge is, is a, is a shithole. In that regard, we can all yeah, agree I, on I, that, would, yeah. I, I would, I would, I would actually agree that probably is pretty normal behavior on CSGO Lounge. But yeah, in in the Twitter space, um, yeah, that yeah, that sort of behavior isn't tenable. And yeah, so I, I guess I stand by what what I said before in, in that regard. 
I have one more uh, question, actually. Um, to me? Re- oh, yeah. Um, so, in regards to, like, empty trade offers, have you a- ever had any situations prior to this one uh, where you received an empty trade offer, offer, you accepted it, and then you had that, that user reach out to you and said that it, w- it was an accident? Um, yeah, I'm happened? sure I did. I, I've been trading for years. I'm sure I did, yeah. Okay. And what's the follow-up question, Blizzard? <laughs> well, what is that question? Oh, that, that was it. That was it. I'll leave <laughs> okay. it at that. Okay. That was, that's, I think, why I was so nonchalant and so, you know, cruel sounding in those uh, comments with uh, or messages with West because, you know, it happened before. And I, I viewed it as the view of the, as the rule of the land. So you fucked up, you lost your stuff. That's the case and end of the case. That's how I viewed it back then. Okay. Well, I, I don't think I need to add anything at this point. I think I've, I've said the relevant stuff. Um, Honor, what do you think? No, I think everyone gave their side. I think I think we, we had a good wrap up. Chat doesn't have any more questions, so it seems like a done, done deal. <clears throat> Well, I guess I buy all of you. I don't know. Yep, I think <laughs> me and I can get on with <laughs> okay. getting scammed yourselves. Okay, good luck. Okay, okay see you. Sure. Bye. Thank you for joining. Thank you for doing this. Okay. And uh, have yeah, a thanks a lot for having me. We good hope luck you, on the cases. you learned your lesson. Take it easy. Didn't confirm. Maybe you didn't. Goodbye. Bye bye. Okay, Jesus. What do you think? Okay, okay. I think we can get on with um our our cases in that case. We've got